How's it going, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today, I get to do an overview of the latest Deluxe Edition from Humanoids. We're looking at the weapons of the Meta Baron. So, let's go ahead and get started. And welcome back, everybody. So, before getting started, a huge thank you to the folks at Humanoids for sending us a copy of this Deluxe Edition. This book came out in late May, and it's been one of my most wanted books to come out in 2023. And there's a specific reason for that. And as much as I love the Jodoverse, Alejandro Jodorowsky's universe, I love Travis Charest's art. That was the main reason I was so excited about this. Back, I believe, in 2002, they hinted that this book was coming out. And it wasn't until about 2012, 2013 when I got around to reading it. Uh, but let me just explain why I'm excited about this version. This is the version that I own that came out years ago. And it was the only way to get it. I mean, it isn't now anymore because we also have it available as part of the Yodorowsky Library Editions. But still the same size. And I'll do a comparison in a little bit. But whenever you have this type of story, I think most people that have read Johto's work, let's actually talk a little bit more about it, know that it's not just a story. It feels like a dream sequence. It feels like a surreal experience. And part of that has to do with the wonderful artists that he's been teamed up with, like in the past with uh, Mobius or Jimenez's art. It's hard to, well, almost lost the book there. Uh, it's hard to do somebody like Juan Jimenez justice when you're dealing with the works of the Meta Barons. But, but we're going to be looking inside of the book. I've given you the pitch before whenever I talked about it with the library editions. Uh, but I'll, I'll talk about it just a little bit, but mainly focus and take in this beautiful artwork. And in case you're wondering how big these deluxe editions are... Uh, they're pretty big. Here it is compared to the size of an omnibus to see how much more art you get in here. And the other thing to mention is that when these books come out, the bigger deluxe editions, they tend to go out of print because these are limited. <coughs> like there's not a limited print number here, but they are printed on a limited print run. Meaning that they don't, print as many as the standard size hardcovers. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, it may look short to you, but that's because it's only 80 pages and the book retails for $29.99. Interesting enough, this was all part of a big overview of Humanoids books that I was working on. But then I was spending so much time talking about the Meta Baron or weapons of the Meta Baron, I decided, ah, you know what? I'll just do a overview of those books and take this one out and make this a separate video. So that video will come back sometime on the channel uh, whenever I get back from Japan. Japan. All right. So weapons of the meta Baron. Most important thing to get out of this is this is from the pages of the Incal. It's from the Incal universe that spun into the meta Baron. And this tells the story and it's a pretty simple, complicated plot. So the basic premise of this is that we have the character of no name, the Meta Baron, from the pages of the Incal and Meta Baron, and he's tasked by the eight intrasleepers of the Omfall to go and get this sword called the Praxis. It's the sword with a soul, and that's so he can go and do another task. It almost felt like reading the Legend of Zelda. Oh, this is what you need? Well, you need to go and complete these three other tasks before you get this sword. That's kind of what it felt like. And that's pretty much the premise of the story at 80 pages. So it's a little bit of a flashback, and I'll talk a little bit about why that is. Uh, so you'll see a couple names here. Now, you saw it at the very beginning. You have Jodo's name there, Travis Shere, and then Soran Janjitov. So Travis Shere did pages 11 through 39, and then Zoran Janjatov did pages 7 to 10, and then 40 to 61. And it really does feel like, and by the way, the colors uh, that Travis does on his original art is just oh, mind-blowing. 
and of course the translations and English language editions. So John Jatov's art really feels like a setup that they did later on because Sheree was just running behind. And I, that was always a problem with him as an artist. I've been following his art since I remember falling in love with his Dark Star covers, with his Batman cover that had Robin and Azrael. He had a Jim Lee style, and a lot of us at the time called him a Jim Lee clone. But oh my gosh, is he in a different level. And that's not to say that Janjatov himself is not a great artist, because he really is. He actually has a very similar style to that of Jimenez. But the reason I wanted to showcase this book is to fall in love with this insane and detailed artwork. And you can see why he was running late and why he runs behind sometimes. By the time he was drawing Wildcats with um, Alan Moore writing the stories, this is the kind of level that he was drawing on, but not to this extreme. This is like, how is this possible for a man to produce this kind of artwork. It's just unfair for somebody to be this talented. For somebody to be able to draw fabric in different fabrics and the light reflections on those fabrics in a different way. Like, what is so amazing and surreal? I fell in love with this immediately. Just check out these. I've always been a fan of this particular sequence right here. Uh, where he is training and fighting and then eventually just slashes the crap out of this dude's face. It's just so crazy that he's able to just give us so much art in one panel. And you're going to see a lot of influence here from, of course, Heavy Metal magazines, so a lot of European artists. He met as himself and Mobius, but also things like Stanley Kubrick, like 2001, very sci-fi driven. And that's what the story really feels like, a mix of like sci-fi fantasy. And like I always said, this almost like a dream sequence type of story, which you always find in Jodo's stories. And I'm going to skip a few pages here, but it's the artwork that you fall in love with. Now, I did notice something here when you get to a couple... There's a couple spread pages here. How much more art you can take in in these double-page spreads. And it's not that the, bind, the binding is any different, because it is sewn binding, but so was the original hardcover. It's just that it's so much bigger that you get so much more out of each panel. The amount of detail that goes into each freaking hair that is drawn on, not just the beard, but also his head there. Let me show you the double page spread. This is one of my favorite spreads of all time. This is just pure insanity, pure adrenaline. There's a reason why a lot of people were so excited about this project, and a lot of us were excited because of that name, Travis Charest. Like, to me, we finally have a book in a format that does his art justice. Yes, it can always be bigger. It can be a more limited edition slipcase, but that day hasn't come yet. We're looking at a deluxe edition that's still affordable for $29.99. And I'm sure when a slipcase limited edition will come, it'll probably be around $50 and probably a slightly bit bigger. But my gosh, the amount of detail that he is able to deliver in not just a page, but each panel. I, yeah, I, I stand by my statement about being completely unfair to other artists and comparing other artists to this particular art. Especially when you're sharing the book with another artist that is phenomenal, Zoran Janjatov. And it's not that his art is bad, it's just when you compare it to Share, and again, it's, you know, mileage may vary, everybody thinks differently. I still think this piece is just amazing. Like the boots and the lighting, the way that it hits differently than it hits the fabric on his shirt. Just, damn. No wonder it took him forever to draw this stuff. Now, all the way in the back, is it's not just 80 pages of story. There are little afterwards here on drawing the Meta Baron from Travis Charest and Zoran Janjatov. You do get the sketchbook. As a matter of fact, I think this was the first book or the first picture that they teased to us. So you get the designs of the characters, the creatures through here, uh, the different lighting, unused ink page, golly, even the freaking ink illustrations are just amazing. You could put color on that and make that a spread page. It's a reason why he's one of my favorite artists. 
This is the ink page before the colors. This is page 27 of this edition. So no lettering or anything. And then your end sheets. So again, 80 pages. Let's look at the binding. It is 80 pages and it is sewn binding. Not that you need that much of an eye there. The one thing that it is missing though, that the little edition had here, or the standard edition, is a ribbon. So the this edition came with a ribbon that for some reason this one didn't. Here, let's do a, a little size comparison here to look at the colors. This again being the standard edition and then this being the oversized edition. The colors stand out so much. They, they really come to life in this oversized format. The reds are just so crimson red compared to these. Almost looking a little pale, even though the paper stock it feels about the same uh, actually you know what this standard edition has thicker glossy paper this one isn't as thick maybe that might have something to do with it so i'm going to keep the same page and compare it to the way it looks here in the library edition so i'm very interested because this one almost has a matte finish to it compared to this one but again being in standard size so Looking a little closer to this than the pale reds of the standard edition. But this is to give you an idea. And let's compare one more page. I wanted to compare the boots, but let's just compare the fight here against this creature. And how it looks here in oversized format compared to the library edition format here. You can see the much more details. Not just the creature, but again, the fabric. And the standard size hardcover. And the color's looking very, very similar. Maybe just a little bit duller than the version over here. But that's it. If you're a fan of the InCal, if you're a fan of oversized books, yeah, don't miss out on this one, especially to have that charade artwork in oversized format. And that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this deluxe edition, don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of this book. Let me know in the comments down below if you've never read Weapons of the Matter Baron. Are you a fan of the Johto universe? Uh, do you like the Incal and you've read Meta Baron, sort of Techno Priest, and you want to expand your horizons? And if you have read this, what you think of the story? But more importantly, if you are picking up this deluxe edition, because I think finally this serves... Travis Charest's artwork justice. Any questions and comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.